The following is a presentation of the Missouri Sports Network. Hey, welcome back to Central Bank of the Ozarks High School Game Day here on the Missouri Sports Network, MissouriSportsNetwork.com, where everyone has a home field advantage. And as always, presented by Century Financial, or I'm sorry, Country Financial. I hope you didn't hear me say that. Country Financial, Labor's Local 663, the Bank of Billings, established 1889, the oldest bank in Christian County. Doak Propane, located in Bolivar, Missouri, surrounding Polk County and surrounding counties. Your shelter insurance agents in Aurora, see Grant Baker, and in Lockwood, see Sean Holman. Chevy dealers of the Ozarks, Great Southern Bank, and as always, the Missouri State Highway Patrol reminds us to take that three seconds and buckle up. It's three seconds that could save your life. Be safe, be smart, and be here tomorrow. We go down to Sparta High School, home of the Lady Trojans softball team, and head coach Troy McPherson. Coach McPherson, thanks so much for your time today. Absolutely. We're, we're glad to be here. Just uh, over the halfway point now of the season, you guys are 15-1 and one, uh, right now in Class 2, District 5. 15-1 and one overall. You've got Southwest coming up here in a couple of days. Tell us about the season just in its entirety. Just kind of put a bow on it up to this point. Well, it's been a great season to start with. Um, we've, we've really came out of the gate strong. We've, uh, we've been playing up to our potential. Um, we are currently uh, ranked fifth in class two at the moment, uh, which is up from we were ranked seventh to begin the season a little bit ago. So we've been kind of steadily increasing. Um, I apologize for any announcements that are coming through. We're still in our in our school. Um, but uh, yeah, 15 to one, we've got three tournament wins under our belt. We won our conference tournament up to open up the season. Um, and then the next weekend, we uh, we went down to Harrison, Arkansas, and we won the uh, 2022 Harrison Classic. And then the following weekend, we won the the Sparta Classic, our own home tournament, which is the first time we've won that in a, in a while. So three for three uh, in our tournaments, we've we've done pretty good so far. Our lone loss came to Kennett, who's currently ranked number two in the state, and kind of let that one get away. I'm still a little bit mad at myself for that one, but we'll get him next time we see him. All right. Well, 15 and six a year ago. Uh, yeah. You know what? You know, talk about what you had to replace senior wise. Who'd you lose due to graduation and who's filled some of those roles? Absolutely nothing. We brought back all 11 starters this year, all 11 uh, varsity letter winners. We brought back every single person. And I think that that's been the, the biggest key to our success this year is is having that experience and having that familiarity with one another to be able to come back and just kind of kickstart things the way they were. Uh, just last year. So it last year, I think that our shortcomings were that lack of experience. We got into some big situations and some big games and, and we kind of struggled in some of those moments. But uh, this year we've been put in very similar moments, very similar situations. And we've, we've shown that we're able to overcome those situations and, and pull out wins. And I think that knowing each other and coming back and bringing back everybody this year is, is the big reason why. What kind of, kind of break down your team, no seniors a year ago, what, uh, what is your senior class and all, on down, what do they look like numbers-wise? Right now, we've got two seniors, uh, one of whom is here with us today. Uh, we have Asia Fulton. She's our lone senior here today. Um, Asia is normally our starting third baseman, but somebody on the team decided to get mono. <laughs> and so uh, she's been playing the outfield for us. She's been playing center field for us. Uh, and then our other senior is Bailey Williams. She's been uh, playing second base for us most recently. And she's both of these girls are doing extremely well. They've been incredible leaders for us. Um, we've got three juniors that are starting as well, uh, two at the moment. And then we've got uh, the rest are sophomores. The rest of our starting lineups made up of sophomores. So we're still fairly young. Uh, we'll be able to hopefully bring it back and have another great run next year too. Well, we'll start with, with Aja. Aja, thanks for being part of the show today. Yeah, thanks for letting me be here. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, what your role is, and evidently it's changed here recently, but <laughs> what your role is uh, on the team and then what your responsibilities are. Um, well, I just kind of play wherever he needs me. I freshman year started out at third base also and center fielder got hurt. So I got moved to center field, played there my whole freshman year and then did that junior year too, because sophomore year got canceled due to COVID. So junior year, I was in the center field also. And then this year, I just kind of go wherever he needs me. It changes game by game. And so right now, if the lineup card was on the wall, where would you be playing right now? I'd be in center field right now. Okay. Tell us a little bit about how you get, how you get prepared 
you know, for a game? I know you don't, you're not playing tonight. You don't play until Thursday. But what do you do to kind of get physically and, and mentally prepared? Um, well, we just try and stay very upbeat and, like, keep the positive energy going throughout warm-ups and everything. And then we start off with hitting, and then we take our I.O., and we try and make sure it's a good round and keep our energy up. And then we always do powwows before the game where we hype everyone up. <laughs> powwows. Yeah. yeah absolutely. <laughs> It's, it's a vital part of our team success. I tell them to get as far away from me as possible and let them go do their own thing. That way they can kind of have their moment and I can have my moment to collect my thoughts and they can have their moment to hype themselves up and, and say their prayer and be ready to go. AJ, did you have any team goals or personal goals coming into this season? Um, my personal goal was to be more vocal and more of a leader than I have been the past years because I've normally been pretty quiet. So this year I've been really trying to step up and be more of a leader and more vocal. And team goal, I just wanted us to be like have better team chemistry and be able to win more and have fun while winning. Uh -huh. Now you're a senior. Yes. Uh, it's spring. You're graduating here in a couple of months or maybe less. Yeah. Uh, what, what, what are your plans for after high school? Um, after high school, I plan to go to OTC. And what, what area of study? Uh, graphic design. Okay. Now, is, is there a background there, or is that just something you've picked up, you know, at the high school level and just enjoyed? Um, it's just something I picked up at the high school level and enjoyed. Very good. Well, since you're the only senior in the room, I will let you pick who gets to go next and introduce them. All right. Um, I'll go with – we'll start at this side of the table. We'll go with Haley Bumgarner. Haley, how are you? I'm pretty good. All right. Tell us a little bit about the position you play and what your roles and responsibilities are. Well, I did play right field, <laughs> and then I got mono and got pretty sick, so I'm out for until this Friday, but I'm still um, at every game, every practice, cheering on my buds, just being the biggest hype man I can be for them. <laughs> she's, yeah. done, she's done an excellent job as well. She's, she's honestly one of the spark plugs behind our team success. She really is. She, she brings the energy that we need. She brings the positivity that every team's got to have. Um, and normally she's out there starting in the outfield for us, but right now she's doing a great job in, in a leadership role and in a team lifter upper role. <laughs> so, Miss Lifter Upper, <laughs> since you've been out now, how, how long have you been out? Um, about three weeks, two weeks, two yeah. weeks. Yeah. What, have you, what have you learned? Because I, I oftentimes, and I went through this as a – college and a high school and college athlete you get injured you're forced to kind of look at it through different eyelids oh, yeah. and um, yeah. what have you learned about yourself and what have you learned about the game well I definitely learned that um the bench energy has to be there um and you're still part of a team no matter where you're at on the field on the bench anywhere you're still a big part of the team and um it's hard seeing your you know but it's just Good to still be there and be a part of the team anywhere I'm at. Uh, now, Haley, what what grade are you? I'm a junior. You're a junior, and when did you start playing softball? And what what do you love most about it? Um, I kind of started freshman year. Um, I played when I was younger, but I got more into it my freshman year. Um, I love my teammates, and I, I love the sport. Um, which is great. I love being with my girls. What uh, what do you do in the off season in the summertime? Um, I play volleyball in the fall, and then I train with um, softball preseason during basketball season. Outstanding. Well, Haley, thanks for being part of the show, and uh, we'll let you pick, introduce who gets to go next. We'll do Kenzie. <laughs> okay. right, I, didn't, I didn't hear the name. Ken, this is Kenzie. 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 Kenzie, how are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. What? Uh, so what are your roles and responsibilities and what position do you play? Um, I play first. And... <laughs> She's really talkative this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, give, give the idea as a listener. I played, I played first base in college. Um, kind of given the, the, the differences between first base and baseball and, and softball, what I see is you're – I mean, you're breathing on the hitter a lot of times. I mean, you are that close. Tell us about how you get prepared. Um, I just don't really think about it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. 
<laughs> she's got that kind of mindset about everything. She just goes out and plays. She's a hard player. She does everything extremely well. Um, and she may be shy and she may be a little bit quiet, but she's one of the hardest workers we've got on this team. Uh, I can't keep her off of my field. She leaves ruts in my left-handed batter's box where she's always out of the field. She's always hitting. Me. She's always doing something. During batting practice, we're always chasing softballs because I can hardly keep the ball on the field whenever she's hitting because she's driving home runs over the field. She's she's one of our big power hitters. She's she's a little quiet. She doesn't want to brag about herself, but I'll take a minute to brag about her. Well, let me ask you this, Kenzie. Uh, as you look at your schedule uh, when it comes out, what were some games you were looking particularly forward to playing? Maybe it was a rival game. Maybe you knew someone on the other team. Uh, what games are you looking forward to? Uh, party. And why is that? Because uh, they won state last year. Okay. Very good. Did you have any goals, personal or team goals, coming into this season? Um, I just wanted to do better than I did last year. All right. Where are you at? Are you, are you better than yep. you were last year? Well, there you go. Hundred percent, hundred percent. And her, don't don't let her don't let her fool you. Her bad year last year, she still hit like three sixty with a home run and a lot of RBIs. This year, she's <laughs> she's cleaning up. At the moment, she's hitting like five sixty with an on base percentage around six seventy and three home runs. So she is she's improved. That work that she's been putting in this offseason has really shown. Oh, all right. Well, Kenzie, what uh, what what grade are you? I'm a sophomore. You're a sophomore. When did you start playing? Um, about 10 U travel ball. Okay. What do you do in the off season? Um, hit. <laughs> <laughs> That's about it. Oh, very good. All right. Well, Kenzie, who is, who do we have next? Uh, Natalie. Natalie, how are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. Tell us a little bit about what position you play and what your roles and responsibilities are. Um, I'm a pitcher and okay. my roles Throw strikes and get out. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> All right. What What are you thinking about on a pitch by pitch basis? What's going um, through your mind? I'm thinking about where they hit the last ball. So, like, if I threw an outside ball and they were real late, I'll probably throw another one. It just depends. I try and like watch the batter and see where they're at in the box and see what I'm going to throw. And if I throw like a high fastball and they swing at it, then I'm going to throw a rise ball next. It's just all kind of what they what they're gonna do. Now, what what grade are you? I'm a junior. You're a junior. So, how long have you been playing? Oh, uh, since I was like five. Yeah, we were playing. For, I've been playing forever. I've pitched forever. What do you enjoy most about pitching? I like being in control of the game. Um, I feel like I'm very like non-talkative person on the field, so I try and like keep my emotions to myself. I sometimes let them out, but, um, but, <laughs> but um, I just try and I help everyone. I try and like guide them through what the hitter might do. Like if a bunt's going to happen, I tell people to come in or like where we're going to throw the ball. I just try and lead from there. Yeah. Does your first baseman even talk to you? Because she's not talking to me. <laughs> oh, don't worry. She talks to me. She don't stop talking to me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just messing. I'm just <laughs> what do you do? Let's say you're pitching tonight. What are you doing to get mentally and physically prepared? I go out there and I just think of who we're playing and if I need to like work on like some pitches, like movement pitches, or if I even need to focus on that. There's some teams that I'm just like, I can just throw fastball. It's fine. But then there's some other teams where I'm like, I need to spin the ball to get these people out. Do you feel like you have an advantage as a pitcher when you're in the batter's box? Does that help you kind of knowing how pitchers handle things? Yes, it definitely helps me. And even with the umpires, it helps me because I know when they're going to call a strike or what they're going to call a strike on. So, yeah. yeah. Very good. Well, hey, thanks for coming being part of the show, Natalie. And who do we have next? We got Avery. <laughs> Avery, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. Now, what position do you play and what are your responsibilities? Um, currently, at the moment, I'm playing third. And a responsibility I think I have is just trying to be, like, a good teammate to everybody else, always being there for everybody if they need it. Are you a, a, a mono third baseman? Is that why you're there? <laughs> yeah. At yeah. the moment, yes. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, at the moment, yeah, she's normally – she this year she's been our starting second baseman at the beginning of the year. She played third base all of last year, though, so the, the spot's not unfamiliar to her. Well, Avery, tell us, uh, tell us a little bit about, uh, you know, coming into this season, were there games on your schedule you were looking forward to playing? Yeah, um, like they said, Purdy was a big one. And I think Kennett, seeing Kennett on our schedule was really – I really wanted to play them. I was really excited for that game. I knew it was going to be a tough one, and I was ready to see how it would play out. As you look forward, you guys are uh, you know, you're two-thirds, maybe even further than that along, you know, here in the season, getting prepared for, you know, your that – that class two districts. Uh, what yeah. what are you most what are you doing right now to get kind of get prepared mentally for that districts? Yeah, this season has fun by like really fast. I don't know. I feel like just getting everybody on the same page around this bat um, is really going to help us for that moment in time. Hopefully, that we will go all the way. That's what we're all hoping. And um, yeah, just pretty much getting everybody on the same page. Everybody ready to play these tough games that could be coming up. All right. Well, Avery, thanks for being part of the show today. <laughs> and, Coach, you've got just a handful of games left, and you go into districts. Have you seeded for the district yet? We have not. We're actually seeding uh, next week, um, but I think that we've got a really good shot, a really good opportunity to be uh, one of the top seeds in our district, if not the top seed in our district. Um, we have some really, really competitive teams in our district this year. Uh, we've been fortunate enough to to face several of them and face several of the teams that I think are going to be towards the top of our district seeding. Uh, we've came out victorious in those games, so I think that we've got a pretty good shot uh, of being a, one of the top seeds and, and having a good shot to run the table and, and kind of make a run at this thing. You kind of handicapped your district a little bit. I know for years there, Stratford was very good, and I don't know if – I know they're in your district this year. Yeah, Stratford, um, Stratford is always a strange team because they – right now they're they're a little bit lesser than what they've been in the previous years, but they're still a fantastic softball team. Uh, Coach Bean does a great job over there at Stratford. Those girls are always very well coached. They know exactly what to do. They know where to go with the ball. Uh, and that's one thing that I tell these girls whenever we go and face Stratford, they're not a team that's going to lose. They're a team that we're going to have to go out and beat. Um, and we've done a really good job the past two years. We put up uh, quite a few runs against them. Um, I think that they're one of the better teams in our district. Uh, they've also struggled a little bit at times, but then they came out and they uh, beat Skyline by, I think, like eight or nine runs the other night. So they've got some some really good opportunities there. I think that they're growing. I think that their game against us where we beat them uh, 10 to three, I think that that was kind of an eye opener for them because they've turned around and beat some pretty good softball teams after that. Um, we also have Forsyth. Forsyth is another one of those teams that is is right now they're kind of hit or miss when I look at their schedule because they, have they again, are a team that's beaten Skyline, um, and they've played some really good games. They've beaten Diamond, who's another state-ranked team, um, but then they're, they're struggling in some of these games more recently uh, against some of the other teams. They got beat by Stratford uh, pretty handily, uh, and they lost to Springfield Catholic not too long ago. So they're another team that's been kind of up and down. Clever is, a, is another one of those teams. They played us uh, the closest of any of the teams in our district so far this year. Uh, we beat them 7-5 to five earlier this year, uh, and they are, they're going to small ball you to death. They're going to make sure that you are fundamentally sound. They're going to bunt. They're going to steal, and they're going to fake bunt steal, and they're going to make sure that you are on top of your game. And uh, luckily we were uh, for about six innings of our game. We struggled a little bit in the seventh <laughs> inning uh, against them, kind of gave, a, gave them a, a little bit of a run there. But luckily we had a, a good enough lead built up that we were able to hang on to that one. So I think those are the top teams in our district. We also have Marionville in our district, and we played them in the championship game of our home tournament. Uh, and they are they're a very good team. They are very well coached. Their coach does a fantastic job with their program. Uh, she gives them great energy, and they're another team that I told their I told them at the end of our championship game that I don't want to face them in our districts because I have a feeling that they could get hot right at the right moment, and I think that they're going to be a competitive team. Again, visiting here on episode two eighty nine of the Central Bank of the Ozarks High School Game Day with the Sparta Ledge Trojans and and head coach. Troy McPherson and coach, tell just a little bit about your background. How long have you been at Sparta? Where'd you go to high school and and, and college, and how'd you end up? Absolutely. So this year is year six for me at Sparta. Um, this is my fourth year as the head coach. Um, when I first got here, I just graduated from Missouri State. Um, prior to my time at Missouri State, I went to LSU right out of high school. So I spent a year down in Baton Rouge, and then came back home and, and uh, graduated from Missouri State. Prior to that, I played uh, baseball at Ozark for Mr. Mike Essick and Casey Lettle and, and all of them fine gentlemen, and they kind of taught me who, who to, how to be and how to be a coach. I really have been around them since I was a kid. I was the annoying little brother that was always chasing, chasing around the baseball team, 
and I, they finally just put a book in my hand and made me get to work and do something. So I just sat in the dugout and I've just been a sponge around them since I was a little kid. So I think that I, it's kind of worn off. It's, it's put me into the position that I'm in now and it's, it's a really good one. Well, very good. Well, ladies and, and Coach McPherson, I really appreciate you being part here in episode 289, part of the Missouri Sports Network. And uh, best of luck. And maybe we'll get to track you down here as the postseason gets closer or maybe a, during postseason and uh, get to do this all over again. Nobody passed out, I don't think. And so <laughs> well, yeah, I, think, <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll be okay. But ladies, again, thank you so much. And thanks for being part of the Missouri Sports Network here. Awesome. Thank you so much, guys. You You bet. You're watching Missouri Sports Network at MissouriSportsNetwork.com, where everyone has a home field advantage.